Joining us now from the Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness via Zoom is Casey Tingle. He is the Deputy Director of GOSEP. Mr. Tingle, good morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us as we all continue to track the tropics and tropical storm Cristobal as it looks to have its site directly here on South Louisiana. What are you guys watching with this storm? Good morning. Thanks for uh, having us on. Uh, we, we're certainly watching for uh, the significant potential of heavy rainfall uh, over this weekend and maybe even into early next week. Uh, that's a uh, primary concern with this particular system. Uh, we would just encourage everybody to, to watch very closely over the next couple of days. Uh, there's a lot that we don't know yet in terms of exactly where it might uh, go. Uh, but the rain is going to extend far out from wherever the uh, center of the storm might be. And so we would encourage everybody to do prepare for some rainfall, heavy rainfall this weekend. Absolutely. We've got our awesome team of Storm Tracker team meteorologists here tracking this storm as well. They're estimating some things between 10 and 15 inches of rain over the course of the weekend and into early next week. I think that this year has been uh, quite the year for lots of folks with the coronavirus pandemic. They may have forgotten about hurricane season or crept up on them uh, pretty quickly. What's the importance of uh, the, the message about being prepared as we now are faced with our first storm? Yes, yeah, certainly uh, it is time to be prepared. Uh, for hurricane season in particular with the storm that we have uh, projected to, to enter the Gulf of Mexico over the next day or so. Uh, so, so homeowners, families should be prepared. Uh, they should have uh, food and water uh, that, that they can use uh, for a couple of days. They should have, uh, you know, face uh, coverings and hand sanitizer, those sorts of things. If they were to have to leave their home for some reason and evacuate and go to a shelter, um, certainly those would be things that they need to prepare for that are a little bit unique this year. Um, but they can also be prepared by just uh, looking around their, uh, their home and their property, uh, securing any loose items, making sure that storm drains and those things near their home are clear and free of any obstacles uh, so that when the heavy rains do fall, uh, we don't have any, uh, you know, exacerbate any effects with that. Absolutely, and really quickly in the last 30 seconds or so that we have with you, I know that GOSEP does a great job with the Get a Game Plan tool, that app that everyone can have on their on their phones or, or their digital devices that shows them the resources that are available from the state. What's the best way that folks can keep up with those resources? We would encourage everybody to visit getagameplan.org. Uh, that website will connect you to uh, a lot of good preparedness materials for your family, for yourself, for your home. Um, and uh, get you connected to the app and ways to stay in touch. Deputy Director Casey Tingle joining us this morning from GOSEP. Thank you so much for your time, and I know it's going to be a busy couple of days for you. Thank you for what you're doing to keep our state safe. We appreciate it. Thank you for what you're doing. Absolutely. Thank you. It's 647 now. We'll take a quick break. Your morning headlines coming up after this.